Hi friends, and welcome back to Raft. Today we're back with another mod showcase for our favorite ocean game, and we're going to be focusing on some mods that will make life a little bit easier for all of you Raft mega builders out there. This showcase is going to be kind of a combination of the building mods from a while ago, and the more recent utility mods from last week. They're new mods, but fill a special kind of utility for the building community specifically. And unlike the previous building mod showcase, these mods don't add in new items or fundamentally change the way that certain items work for the most part. They're mostly just meant to make your building life a little bit easier. We also won't be covering as many mods as usual due to the slight more niche category. As always, the mods are linked down in the description, so check out any and all that caught your eye. But without further ado, let's get into the Builders mod showcase. Some of these mods are designed for creative mode, some are meant for survival, and plenty work in either. So whether you're the kind of person to just build for fun, or the type to build challenging fancy rafts in your normal world, there's bound to be something here for you. First up, the biggest building mod I could ever hope to tell you to use is the Building Utilities mod. It allows you to ignore item collisions, rotate objects in all directions, and ignores the pillar requirements for ceilings. So if you're into building fancy rafts, the Building Utilities mod is an absolute must. Just the ability to place objects in a more organic way will already improve your builds, and it removes some of the awkward gaps in between items. And all in all, it's just a massive change and will make your whole building life a heck ton easier, so I can't recommend that one enough. Next up, we have the Recursive Placement mod. If you build a lot in Raft, you undoubtedly know the struggles of trying to line up all of your pesky crop plots, or getting as many chests as you can in a certain area. This mod makes it ridiculously easy to get those clean lines and the even placement that you probably want the same way that I do. Basically, get the items you want to place up in your inventory, choose the space you want to line them up in, and press B. If you press your sprint key while you do this, it'll auto-align those objects on a set axis, which definitely guarantees that ultra-precise placement that you probably want. It's so nice to remove those 15 minutes of just picking up and replacing all of those same planters just trying to make one straight line, because I don't know about you, but I do that quite a lot and it always gets really frustrating. And as bonus good news, this mod also works with other modded items. So like if I take this titanium storage from the augmented items mod, I can still place those all neatly using this mod. So no more weird jagged or diagonal lines because I also can't draw a straight line, but we're not going to talk about that. Moving on, we've got the Raft Cost mod. If you caught last week's mod showcase featuring utility mods, you'll remember the Raft Blueprint mod. It basically allowed you to copy-paste a raft from one world into the next, but with the slight catch that it wouldn't cost any materials to paste in a fully formed raft into a brand new world. If you were more concerned about balance, and didn't want to give yourself that many resources right off the bat, you might be slightly more interested in the Raft Cost mod. Although this mod doesn't memorize the layout of your raft and reconstruct it, it does tell you exactly what materials you'll need to recreate it, so it makes the preparation a little bit easier. Basically, it's just an easier way to see what you'll need without having to like count the number of walls you're placing or the number of foundations, it'll just tell you. Once you've made that mega raft and now know exactly what it costs, you might want a better view of all the finer details, or maybe you just want to zoom out a little bit. That's where the true noclip mod comes in. Sure, in creative, you can press N to enter this semi noclip state, but your character stays where you are, and it's honestly a bit awkward most of the time. The true noclip mod adds in two modes that will give you better angles to capture those beautiful screenshots from, or to make placing in those smaller pieces just a tiny bit easier. In the console, you can choose in between fly mode, which is just that. You fly, but you still have collision with your raft and everything else. You can also modify your flight speed if you want to go zoom speed, but I tend to think of that more as a nifty detail rather than a true feature. The other mode is probably exactly what you expect from a true noclip mod. If you type noclipped 2 into the console, you're entered into that exact mode of true noclip. So you can look in all of those little nooks and crannies that you sealed off, as well as just zooming through your whole raft looking for any inconsistencies. All in all, it's just an easier way to check everything over, 
and to get some better angles for your social media posts. The next two mods are more functional for those of you who are building rafts in survival, but really just want to focus on that building slash exploration side. First up is almost no durability. If you're tired of making a gazillion axes to keep your wood farm running, this mod eliminates some of that struggle. Again, if you're more game balance inclined, you can set how much the mod extends the durability using that extra settings mod I seem to mention in every episode of this series. So whether it's just twice the normal durability, or nine times what you normally get, it just means that you don't have to make so many tools, it doesn't give them infinite durability. Which is not so much true for the almost no power mod. This straight up makes batteries and machines just not run out. I tend to use it for things more like the receiver on my display raft to make sure that the screen stays on, or you could use it with something like the super soaker mod to water that massive lawn you're building on your raft. It's definitely not balanced, but it does make those small details a bit more aesthetically pleasing or just easier to do large amount of work that are otherwise quite frustrating and creative, like watering a ton of stuff. Our final two mods I've actually talked about before, but I consider them some of the most useful mods to build a functional yet aesthetically pleasing raft for those of you who are more survival inclined. These two mods are the Wi-Fi Antenna mod and the Antenna Everywhere mod. Wi-Fi Antenna simply removes the wires that connect the antenna to the receiver, so it's a bit cleaner, and the Antenna Everywhere mod removes the minimum 2.5 meter distance between the receivers and antenna, so you can just smack everything in one small corner and block it off to pretend it doesn't exist most of the time. So if you want to build a raft capable of reaching any story location, but you don't want to deal with the admittedly kind of ugly antenna, this combo is perfect for you. So that does it for today's Builders Mod Showcase. That one is a lot harder to say for some reason, but anyways, all of the mods are listed down in the description, so check out any that you found interesting. I definitely think that they all have their uses depending on your playstyle, but I think that's where we're going to call it, so thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please consider leaving a like if you did, and consider subscribing if you haven't already. And as always, have a great day.